What is up everybody and welcome to FLW videos Two. in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to make a graph like this for yourself Maybe you have seen a lot of these showing up on YouTube and you've been very curious as to how it is even possible So we're going to be walking through that today and then of course talking about how to severely customize it Make it look really good get some good templates going on and it's actually not going to be that hard the biggest piece of just kind of like Difficulty to overcome is actually obtaining the data. I will talk about that briefly, but I do want to pass off the question to you What would be a good way to obtain some of this data? But we're gonna mostly be focusing on the step after you have got your information. What do you do from there? So we're gonna go ahead and minimize this and we're going to pull it up into the edit view The first thing that we need to take a look at is of course just the data by the way I'm gonna be using the website known as flourish.com I will put a link in the description make sure you check that out but I would highly recommend you to watch this first just so you can see how it works that way you're not having to figure it out on the fly so what we're gonna end up having to do is we're going to have to assign different labels to our spreadsheet once we end up creating it and as you're noticing here we've got just a kind of timing sequence related to it so what ends up happening is it reads the graph over time from left to right and then it's just going to cycle through it and as you can see on the right we have some different labels and a couple of these are like really important to focus on for example we have the image label and as you can see it is a blue color and it shows that we've got it on column B so all you have to do is just type in whatever column you want it to pick up let's say for example I do column C and then when I press enter, it's going to update it and show that column C is going to be a picture, uh, but I already have it assigned. So it's like, Hey, what the heck you doing? So let's go ahead and move that back to B. So as you can see, we've got the different colors associated to it. We've got pink, which is just some type of category label, I think is what they'll call it. Yeah. So it's just a label. Uh, one other tip that I think would be interesting is it's a good thing to go ahead and put in your image URL. The reason for that is because you've got, these over here and you can make it look really high class by putting in the different images if you're not sure how to get the image URL what I did was I went on Google I typed in the different channels and once I end up finding a logo that I thought fit it all you have to do is right click it and do copy image address put it into your spreadsheet and then once you upload it it will end up looking like this but the website will be able to find it so I think for the most part this really isn't that big of a deal. It's not that complicated. We only have a couple of different pieces of information to take a look at. Uh, by the way, once you get your spreadsheet done, you'll just click import your data and put it in there and then you'll assign your different labels. It'll try to do it itself. So for the most part, you should be good. Just keep in mind that you can type in the uh, name of the columns here to adjust it. So that's all that you have to do on the back end. The next set is going to be related to what's going to happen on the front end of it. You have so much customization that you can do on the far right. So I would highly recommend you to check these out. I'll go ahead and go through a couple of them just to showcase it. So you do want to, like for example, I want to sort it on high. I want to sort it, um, you know, have sorting on. That way it's trying to push up whatever the largest number is to the top. I think that's going to be set as your default though but as you scroll down you can go ahead and see more settings and then you'll see where i for example end up putting in different colors so this one that's right here the current time counter that's what ends up showing up in the bottom left uh, i'll go ahead and show you here so it's just this that's all it is uh, but i tried to make it the exact same color as the bar graphs that way it would end up matching and have like a really good theme to it Moving on, we have the next set. This is going to, once again, be associated to the bars, I believe, in this case. But I made them both the same color, so it's not going to be any different. So we've got some, uh, some more settings here, as you can see. And there's just so much to do. I thought that the layout was a really good thing that you could kind of add into this. Uh, for example, I put on the background color. It will not matter. The reason for that is because it does allow you to put an image in the back. So keep that in mind. This was super helpful. Once again, I looked up the image address and I just pasted it into the image URL 
and it ended up putting the uh, the backsplash that you can see here into the back and then I decided to uh, make sure that I put it to fill very important you do that because one of the options I think made it look really weird as far as the uh, the default was like if you do you know some of these it, it could end up looking weird so I just did fill but by all means pick whatever you want so we've got that done you can also add in a header you can put in the title here and then you can of course select the color that you want for it and you can put in subtitles as well which I, I did put in this case which is just right up here so we've got like a lot of customization going on there was one more thing I wanted to point out that I skipped and it was related to the formatting of the text color so let's go ahead and check this out um, for example we've got axis colors and I decided to put it in as white so as you can see we've got white here and then for the numbers I went ahead and updated the numbers to be white as well that way they would be really easy to read as well as just like the typical data labels that you can see here so this is very powerful stuff this is something that I think has a lot of value but it's so funny that it's basically been blowing up on YouTube as just a way to show a race between PewDiePie and T-Series or whatever you want I'm sure you've seen some channels that are completely dedicated to this I thought that this was really cool and wanted to just kind of figure it out so I went ahead and looked it up and I did a lot of research so hopefully I did save you some time and you will think that this is pretty cool once you get done with this if you want to you can create a story where you can showcase it in to uh, basically a slide and then if you want to you can do some like full screen views you can uh, also export and publish it but for me personally what I ended up doing was just recorded my screen and uh, that ended up being way easier to do than anything else I just recorded it and then uploaded it to YouTube but anyways I hope you did enjoy this episode hopefully this did help you I enjoyed covering it like I said if this was helpful make sure to hit that like button and subscribe let people know that it was helpful in the comment section below and I will see you next time